a memorial called? today and we're going to do a marathon remember at the park so um that i want her to know why we're doing it this afternoon on the military base we're going to they're doing a, a 24 hour marathon and the reason being is because this was 24 hour my daughter explained that this that the military was on call for 24 hours during this time so that's how the military celebrates so we're going on base this afternoon to uh be in the festivities with them and it's going to be tv radio personnel people everything going to be out there like and there. they're doing a 24-hour marathon it started last night at midnight my daughter was out there she was very dedicated she had bags she was out there bad 12 a.m this morning she was there when it started and uh, of course she's into fitness so we're going to be out there supporting this afternoon doing what we can to show love on this day september 11th uh 2020 which is 19 years of the anniversary of this tragic uh, situation. So I'm going to end this with the Tribute of Light is an art installation of 88 searchlights placed next to the site of the World Trade Center to create vertical columns of light in remembrance of September 11 attacks. It is produced annually by the Municipal Art Society of New York City. It initially ran as a temporary installation March 11th to April 14th, 2002 and was launched again years every year after. As of 2010, it has been repeated every year on September 11th. So they're out there doing it right now. It was confirmed that the tribute will continue all the way to the 10th anniversary of the attacks. And now it's going as far as the 19th anniversary. So for those of you who were a little confused or didn't really know the facts, I printed these things off. I sure did. So that my granddaughter can get some knowledge because I was trying to explain to her last night what was going on and her mother didn't want her to see the video, uh, the uh, documentary last night. Why? So I said it's better that I explain to her about it and then show her the movie. So she, when she watched the movie, the documentary, you, you, you understand it a little better because I'm going over it with you now. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to hit a little bit on the Pentagon, and then I'm going to be done. Okay. So the Pentagon 9/11 Memorial is seen in the southwest corner of the Pentagon building. It is a permanent outdoor memorial to the 184 men, women, and children who lost their lives as victims of the attack, killed both in the building and on the American Airlines Flight 77 in September 11, 2001 attacks. Across the memorial grounds, there is 184 bench-like structures, each one dedicated to a victim or clustered in what seems like an uneven and unsettling array throughout the main grounds of the um, memorial. So if you ever in New York City, I suggest fully that you go to this spot and check it out. I've been back home plenty of times since then and I, I check it out each time because I'm interested in the rebuild because it's, it's even beautiful than it was when uh, before it happened. So um, any questions? Yeah, no, I got no questions, but I had a dream. It was something like it, but it's not the same. I had a dream. Sometimes I have this a lot, a lot sometimes. You know how you like fall off a cliff? Because mm -hmm. that happens. Yeah, I actually feel like I'm actually going to fall off. I'm like, I'm just like, somebody's just filming me, and, and they just look at me like. And how do you feel? I'm like, you're not going to help me out? So what do you do in the dream? I just like walk to a cliff and fall. You literally fall? Yes, yes, I'm and then perfect. What and I get to wake up at night. I'm like And when you wake up what happens? I'm like, oh that was just a green. Sometimes I have dreams that I get so to So you actually go to the <laughs> part where you fall 
And then you I'm wake up and say, oh, God, I, I think it's a dream. Yeah, I'll be like. You very daring. I would never go to the point in my dream where I fall. No. I've had dreams when you 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 know that these things are gonna happen, but I'm gonna wake up before it happens. So you literally fall in the dream? Yes, I'm like, I'm not, I'm I guess look at me like So you fall. And they went Is every, nobody every, around you? Nobody's around. Not it's like it's a desert cliff. Like it's dirt dust and I guess fall on purpose. And every time I get downer and downer, you so daring. Every time I get downer and downer, it's like it's getting darker and darker with me. And then until I fall, and until then when I, you fall, you actually hit something. It feels. I guess feels like I'm falling. So for you real. just be falling, yeah. and then you wake up while you're falling. No, I don't wake up while I'm falling. I guess be sleeping like I'm actually falling. I guess, and it was a hot summer day, and I'm like, I'm just gonna. Okay, so you're falling in the dream, and then you you hit something. Do your body ever hit something? No. You know, when you fall, you hit something. Your body no. never hits anything. No. And then you wake it just up. It keeps on falling. You wake up before you hit it. I guess. And you said in the dream it gets darker and darker. Every time I go down. The further you go down, it gets yeah, darker. Yeah, but I and just darker. see like you know how you see the upwards of the desert up here where yeah. you see the cliff and I yeah. fall. I don't just look at, I don't see where, I, I don't look at the walls or anything. I just look upwards where I'm, where the camera is, and I just keep on falling. Um, well, it's not basically like a nightmare. And how often do you do that? Mm, I guess I don't know. I don't, it just comes. Oh. Goes and comes. And it's not nothing. Mm, no. Um, we have to say our prayer. Why? Every night. Some nights we, we miss because you end up falling asleep. But I'm gonna make sure that we, what's we wrong say with our prayer. I don't. I don't know what's wrong with falling, but that doesn't sound good to me. And I, I think not. as a child, you should be sleeping. You shouldn't have dreams like that. Like like that's that's. I've been having dreams like that. I know, but I don't understand why. So I'm gonna leave it up to Jesus, and um, I'm gonna just make sure you say your prayer because you said when we say our prayer, you sleep like a baby. I just like. I just like do this. Every time it just comes to a dream, I just be like, Yeah, What's so when we, when we say our prayer, and she just, don't have no problem. So we I go, I'm going to make sure, because sometimes she'll end up going to sleep before we say the prayer, but I'm going to wake her butt up out that sleep and pray because um, that don't sound too good. But anyway, thank you all for tuning in, the ones who did. This is Marie and Abuela Love, so you get a little bit of what we do. We have a YouTube channel where um, it's just a grandmother and a granddaughter sharing our stories, videos of how we have fun. We in business together. She's my business partner. And I mean, we just do a lot of things as grandmother and granddaughter. So this is one of the things we shared with you all today, which is story time and how I educate my granddaughter. Don't mess with my sword. And this is how um, I, I ain't teach you how to work that knife yet, so don't touch it. This That's like a gun. Don't oh. touch no, no, no gun. Don't touch no knives. Um, so basically, this is what we do. And it's real. This is it's uncut. Grandma and granddaughter situations, okay? But um, most of all, I, I, I keep her in the know of what's going on because the world will not teach my granddaughter what I can teach her. So, um, do the same with your children. Do the same with your little people. Um, make it count. God bless and have a great day. Hi, Cousin Ty. Hi. We see you. We see you, Cousin What's Ty. What's up? We see you all the time. We and we thank God for you. I hope you're having you a great Friday time. and everything is okay. So, remember, go to YouTube. Marie and Abuela Love, Abuela and Marie Love on YouTube. We have hundreds of videos up there right now, but we just need some subscribers to watch them. So if you go ahead and like our videos and subscribe, we can bring you more footage. See you later.